Salway. In this video, we're going to learn about future tense for third and fourth conjugation verbs. First, let's look back at the future tense for first and second conjugation verbs, which we've already learned. The endings for that tense are bo, bis, bit, bimus, bitis, and bunt. They should look very familiar to you by now. Now, all of the six tenses in Latin use the same endings for all conjugations except for the future tense, which uses different endings depending on the conjugation you're dealing with, and that is, frankly, a little bit annoying. The verb endings that you're looking at right now are only added to first and second conjugation, verbs like spectare and videre. The ARE and the ERE endings are what indicate that they are first and second conjugation, respectively. These future tense endings are never applied to third and fourth conjugation verbs. So if you're dealing with a verb like curare, which is third conjugation, you might be tempted to add these endings to form future tense and come up with something like curebo. Well, don't. That isn't a word, so don't ever use it. So now let's see the endings that we actually are going to apply to third and fourth conjugation verbs. And those are am, um, s, et, amus, etis, and ent. Okay, let's form the verb curare in the future tense using these verb endings. So the easiest way to do this is going to be to take the first principal part, drop off the o, and then add the endings to that. That'll keep us from having to worry about what to do with io verbs and annoying things like that. So the forms we're going to get are curam, Cures, curet, curemus, curetis, and curent. The English meanings should be fairly obvious, but we'll go through them anyway. Curam means I will run. Cures, you will run. Curet, he or she will run. Curemus, we will run. Curetis, you will run, and current is they will run. All right, let's do one more. Audio audire is a fourth conjugation verb. We'll do the exact same thing. We'll drop the O from the first principal part, and that gets us our stem. We'll add the endings to that. So we'll get audiam, audies, audiet, audiemus, audietis, and audient. The English meanings will, of course, be I will listen, you will listen, and so forth. All right, now let's try to form a few verbs in the future tense. Let's start with we will rule. The verb is rego regere, and here we have our future tense endings for third and fourth conjugation. We will drop the O from the first principal part to get the stem. Then we will add the amus ending, since we're saying we will rule. And then we get regamus. Simple as that. All right, next. They will find. The verb is inwenio, inwenire. So the Latin form is inwenient. We dropped off the O and added ENT. Next. She will send. The verb is mito mitere. So the Latin form will be mitet. Next, you will believe. And let's assume it's you singular here. The verb is credo credere. So the Latin form will be credes. If we were going with you plural instead, then it would be credetis. Okay, next, it will fail. The verb is deficio deficere. So the Latin form is deficiet. And one more, I will write. The verb is scribo scribere. So the Latin form is scribam. And that is it for future tense. Let me know if you have any questions. Wale.